protests continue over a large development area. I'm talking about the Bedford Union Armory. Elected officials, residents in that huge area that includes large sections of Bedford Avenue, Eastern Parkway, Nostrand Avenue, indeed, Crown Heights, they are up in arms over the decision of the City Planning Committee to approve a controversial plan to develop that area. My guests to discuss this are Attorney Richard Hurley, Dr. Juan Blanco, who is an architect, a member of the Crown Heights Community Council, and uh, Michael Corley, President of the Union Street Block Association. Now this project, which City Planning approved, includes 330 rentals, half of which will be subsidized, and 60 condominiums, of which 12 will be available for purchase and that purchase is going to be below market, in addition to a 67,000 square foot recreation center. Now, where are we with this project? I see you guys looking at each other. Well, let, me, let me begin then. Uh, where we're at, at at this time is uh, we're after the election, and that's significant uh, for Crown Heights because now it's not about uh, rah, rah, and get, uh, get the elected officials out. We had an opportunity to get them out at the voting booth. So we blew that. So now Crown Heights, uh, as far as I'm, I'm concerned, has to change our position a little bit and go and sit at the table. We need to be at the table uh, with uh, some of these developers. It's not just the armory, but some, we need to renegotiate and sit at the table at some point because the Blasio is going to be in for the next four years. Uh, Lori Cumbo is going to be in for the next four years. So basically the conversation has to change a little bit because as far as I know, the project is going to go through. Uh, so what is the plan to change it? Well, uh, Dr. Blanco is here, as you know, to, to discuss his uh, proposal. Mm -hmm. What is your proposal, Dr. Blanco? Well, uh, to begin with, uh, I uh, look at that site, which is an exceptional building and an exceptional location, and it provides a wonderful opportunity for really turning around, not only Brooklyn, but New York, in terms of green economy and dealing with a host of issues. It's a site where we can provide 20 megawatts of energy for the community, and that can become a source of income that will enable the community to have a subsidized, permanently subsidized, moderate income housing as a different kind of project to what is done generally now. The proposal that I have calls for making it into a micro energy station, an urban farm, and also a, a carbon scrubber unit, those three things together. If that were to be done, it would provide all the benefits we said before, I just said before, and it would also completely change the public impression of what Crown Heights is about, because it would put it at the forefront. And you're saying that this goes beyond Crown Heights? Yes. Yes. In what way? Well, this could become a model for, for, for financing public housing throughout New York City. It's a, it's a model for assuring New York the next time a Hurricane Sandy event happens, which it will, it will, that's something that we can't say if it's definitely going to happen, will definitely provide the community with a source of, uh, of energy uh, and also uh, food stocks that are locally grown, organic. And, and on top of that, it will also provide jobs in, in, in uh, uh, administering, operating, uh, the, the facilities that are very important. I calculate you create maybe perhaps 200 jobs, real jobs that have vocations to them, that will have a future. It could become the center point for, for turning Brooklyn around in terms of providing green energy matrix. And in terms of a model, it, there should be a facility like this.